In this Microsoft Excel lesson, we're going to examine three dimensional formulas. The ability to write a formula in one sheet that summarizes several other sheets. So here I've got 13 weeks of data and I have a summary sheet here where I want to be able to summarize that information. Notice first of all that my weeks, my sheets, sorry, have been named. There are no spaces. Don't ever use spaces when naming your sheets. And there are no mathematical symbols. There are, they are also in perfect order. So remember those rules when you're naming your sheets. No spaces, no, no math symbols, and put them in the proper order. And now that they are, I can now begin a three-dimensional formula that's going to add several cells from all of these sheets. So I've got production information and pay information for all of my staff here in every one of the weeks. I've also set it up so that my totals and my labels, everything is exactly in the same cell all the way through. If you don't do this, then you're really gonna have a trouble with your 3D formulas. So B13 and C13 and D13, those all have the totals in every one of the sheets. So now, in order to do this properly and easily, I'm gonna to wanna to see my summary sheet as well as one of the other weeks on the same window. So this is a bit of a review of, uh, of one of the view lessons um, in Excel that I covered earlier. We're gonna ask for a new window. So now we have the same sheet open twice, the same workbook is open twice. And now I'm going to ask to arrange them and then to tile them vertically. And I'm seeing summary in both, which is useless. So I'm gonna go week one here, and then here I'm seeing my summary sheet. So this is what we're looking at right here. So I'm on the summary sheet. So I wanna build formulas that are gonna summarize all of these totals. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna grab all these labels. I wanna grab production all the way to take home pay, and I wanna put them in here. So I'm going to copy. So a lot of little reviews here, so I'm copying, and then I want it to start right here, but I want them to be vertical, right? So I'm gonna to go to paste special and I'm gonna to ask to transpose. So now I've got those labels there. I'm gonna to left to align those so they look good. I'm gonna double click here to make that wider. Perfect. So now I want a formula here that's going to add my production from week one all the way to week 13. So here we go, three dimensional formula. I'm gonna go equal. So I'm typing the exact name of the sheet, which is week one. <clears throat> I'm going to separate the sheet name from the cell with an exclamation mark. I'm going to say B13. Now, if I stop right there, I'm going to get 1897. Let's just try. Perfect. Now, if I add plus week two, B13, I'm going to get double 1897. And I did. Now, I've got 13 weeks to do. I really don't feel like doing this 13 times. So they've come up with an easier way to do this. So if you just wanted to add two cells from two different sheets, this is the way you'd be able to do it, simply manually. But I want to do something a little bit greater here because I have 13 sheets. You might have 100 sheets. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to build a sum formula. So the first week is week one. And this is where it becomes important uh, not to have any spaces and also not to have any math in, in any of the names of your sheets. So now week one and to have them in proper order to week 13. Okay, so it's going from left to right. So if week 13 was right next to week one, it wouldn't grab all the other weeks. But because they're in proper order, it's going to grab everything from this sheet all the way to the right. So here, week one to week 13, and then I put an exclamation mark, and then the cell B13, and then I can close my bracket. I realize it's a bit of a daunting formula at first. Once you do a few, it's really not that difficult. So it's basically the sum of week one all the way to week 13, separate that with an exclamation mark, and then the cell that I want, and then enter. And that's the exact answer that I was looking for. If you did uh, 1897 times 13, that's the answer you would get. The problem 
it's not a problem, but if, if I went to copy this down, the pro problem we're, we're going to have in this case is B13 is going to turn into B14. And I don't have anything in B14. I want C13. So you're probably going to have to manually copy this down. Uh, sorry, manually redo this. So it would be equal sum, open your bracket. The first sheet is called week one. The last sheet is called week 13. The cell that I want is C13. And then I close my bracket and then I hit enter. And then it added C13. Just an advanced thing, if you do want to copy this down, the first part of the formula is fine. Okay, the week one to week 13 is fine. If you know that all you need to do now is say that you want D13, just change that, okay? So this is going to give me D14, but I know that I need to change D14 to E13. So those are three dimensional formulas. They do a really good job of summarizing several other sheets, the ability to draw from any cell, from any sheet, and plop it in a formula. Very powerful stuff.